Okay, so question four is all about the springs inside a bathroom scale. And the first thing you have to do is complete the graph. So for a weight of zero, you need to have a length of 2.4. So we need to plot our first point there. For 200 newtons, we need 1.85. And you need to be accurate to the nearest half square. For 400, 1.3. And for 600, 0.75. Now you get two marks if all your points are in the right place. The next thing you have to do is put a smooth curve of best fit through them. I'll do my best on the computer. All right, that's not a great one. I'm hoping you can do better. It needs to be a smooth line. Uh, it doesn't have to go through every point, but it shouldn't change direction abruptly. What happens to the spring when someone stands on the scale? And when someone stands on the scale, there's going to be an increase in the weight on the spring. Now we can see that if the weight increases, the length of the spring goes down. So we're going to say the spring is compressed. Okay, so it gets smaller, and you can see that from the graph. All right, next one. How long is the spring when a boy who weighs 500 newtons stands on the scale? So we need to go to 500 newtons on our graph, which is just about here. And we need to move up until we hit it and across. Okay, now my best fit line wasn't particularly good, but we're looking here somewhere in the region of 1.2 centimeters from my graph now obviously you have to go by your own graph here but you need to draw a line up from 500 newtons until you hit your curve and then across to give you your length part D how long is the spring after the boy steps off the scale well when he steps off the scales there's going to be zero newtons on it so we just move up from zero until we get to the length, which is the original starting length of 2.4 centimeters. Suggest why the spring does not change in size when the weight in it increases from 1,200 to 1,600 newtons. Well, it might seem strange that the, the length doesn't change at that point, but the idea here is that the spring is compressed so far, okay, that the coils can't compress any further because they're already touching each other. Okay, so we'll say the coils are touching and that the spring cannot be compressed anymore. How could the scales be adapted to measure the weight of people who are heavier than 1,200 newtons? So if you see on our graph, it's clear that once you get past 1,200, our graph is pretty much flat. Now, how could we change that? Well, we could use a stiffer spring, or we could use more than one spring, but we have to be careful about how we arrange them. We have to arrange them in parallel or side by side, okay, rather than just attaching the end of one spring to the other. Okay, so we'll accept here stiffer spring, or you could say more than one spring, but you have to be specific about how they're going to be arranged. They must be arranged in a side-by-side -side arrangement.